you don't need much when you're talking about flipping a classroom. Um, you need some sort of laptop or computer, an internet connection, and in order to get your content up online. Um, you have to have content that you're producing, so a math lesson, ELA lesson, science, social studies, whatever it is, you have to have some sort of um, content that you're, that you're putting there. Um, and or, or you could also find the content online, but today we're going to talk about um, when you create your own content, different ways of um, capturing that content and getting it online where everybody can have access to it. So one tool that you can use when you do that is a video camera. Um, I use this Sanyo video camera. It actually takes still frames and it takes videos. And I like it because it's very easy to use. It's just a simple uh, push button um, and it has a video lens so it's real easy to see what's happening in the picture. It captures everything onto this SD card here um, which comes out of the camera and then goes into a card reader like this and then I put the card reader into my computer into my USB port and then the, the video that I just took comes right up on my desktop or usually up into my iPhoto library um, and I can take that import it just by clicking a button, drag it and drop it onto my desktop, give it a name, um, you know, math lesson, um, adding and subtracting, and then I can upload it right to my YouTube account. And we'll talk more about that. Another way that I capture content when I teach lessons is by using a document camera. I often teach under the document camera and project whatever I put underneath the camera up to the front of the classroom um, and so students can get a really good look at a worksheet or a book that we're reading. And when I do that, um, it's very easy with the document camera that I'm using, uh, which is right here behind me, um, to put my SD card in and record. It's literally just the SD, the SD card goes right in the side push the record button and then I've recorded the lesson that we've done. Um, and that's another great way to capture the content of our lessons. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little bit about the SD card here. Um, in my video camera, the SD card goes right in this slot here and then when I, after I've recorded, all I have to do is pop it out and I have the card right here and then it just slips into this card reader, um, into the slot where it fits just like that, and if it doesn't fit, it means you have to turn it around the other way, but it goes right in here, and then this is going to connect right into the USB port on my computer.